is going to be a percentage of what we do in five years. Mm-hmm. Like the events is just going to be something that's just the icing on the cake in, in, in five years because we got so much things that, you know what I'm saying, we got four, five uh, individuals that's thinking about events. We thinking about what we can do for the community. And also just to show how we blend in community service and we blend in fun and events, we actually mm-hmm. having a rooftop uh, sneaker and heels ball and it's actually benefiting the teachers and students of Gifford County Schools. From our own city. From mm-hmm. our own city, from High Point. So yeah. we, we blend in events with community service at the same time because you don't see that no more. And if you do see it, you see it from the white folks. Like, you don't see the actual community coming together. You can have a good time, but this this good time is going towards something that's beneficial to somebody else that you don't even know. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we're doing that. We're doing we going bigger and big on marketing. We're going bigger on big on events. We're going bigger on big on, like, we don't even got a space yet. You know what I'm saying? So Y'all need we, that. we definitely see yeah, a hey. venue. We definitely see just uh, advertising on a whole nother level. We see more relationships. We see more community service, things like that. And then on top of that, we try and bring fun back. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't, like, I don't think people really understand the word fun like Mm -hmm. we we as a whole group i can truly say as a group they can vouch we trying to bring it back to the point where when we were 17 that 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 that, that fun feeling we was going to skate rinks right going to skating rinks we was going to food fairs we you know what i'm saying we was just like just doing stuff you know what i'm saying you know you just experimenting like we trying to bring that back and a lot of times we look at it like the older we get everybody go to the same parties everybody go to the same doing the same shit doing the same shit that shit, get, that shit getting old. You know it what I'm saying? Because it's getting tired getting out. It's getting up. played out. So now it's like, well, what can we do to bring the fun back to our age group? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And and more because it's not just parties and and, and club spaces and bottles thrown everywhere. It's not about it's that. It's cool no and all, but it ain't, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You just going to keep on repeating the same yep, cycle over cycles, and over spending. Yeah. What? Like sections, sections going to 1500 now? Right. Yeah. For two bottles. Right. It ain't, you know what I'm saying? If you got it, do your thing, but you spending labor dollars at the end of the day. So you got to think of it like, what what's going to fulfill me in, I'm going to have a good time, I'm going to make sure, I'm going to go to a place that makes sure I'm straight, and it's going to be kind of cost efficient. Yo, yeah, you got to pay for your tickets, you got to pay for your drinks, but, bro, you spending 2000 when you go to the club, or you right. spending three, 400 bare minimum mm-hmm. just to have fun and you're not even having fun. fun. You're just standing there. Mm-hmm. Not even drinking all that. Don't, don't <laughs> let you have a significant other. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Sheesh. Yeah. Right? yeah. Uh, we, uh, I like, like Chris uh, said, um, fun, you know, mm-hmm. bringing fun back. But one thing I've noticed from talking, majority of the women, uh, safe. Yeah. You know, it being safe. Um, we don't want to be running to our cars by yeah, what? Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. Somebody so fighting we, in the club? Nah. We got security on deck. I don't play that. You right. can search every event. Um, kicked out. We, yeah, we're yeah. yeah. not playing that. zero tolerance for a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, being safe, man. Uh, you can come to an event. You can show your ass and know I'm not finna fight. I, I ain't getting shot. I ain't, you know, it, it, that ain't the energy that's there. And right. people have told me that. Like, if your mm-hmm. parties are going to continue to be like this, I'm always there because it's it was good energy. There was no arguing. There's no, and I'm not saying there would never be issues. I'm not going to sit here and say that because I can't, we can't control everything. Yeah. But at the same time, the, the presence of us, people, we have curated a space where people understand like, and have a mutual respect for us because we respect them. So they, they come to our events and they act accordingly. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So they don't, even boys from our home, we tell them one time, yeah, y'all come, we ain't with that shit. Leave right. them straps at, at the crib. Leave that shit at the house, Leave them straps at the crib. Leave that shit at Not house. even at the crib. Leave them in the but car. Leave them in the car, car the leave trunk. Leave the bullshit in the house. Right. Leave that shit in the crib. Leave it so, at the door. And people know we don't, we, we not even those kind of guys. Like, yeah, we from the city. You know, we, we you know, we've moved around. But it's just more so people understand and respect that. Bro, we got a business we running. We you know running what I'm saying? Our name attached to this. We put money into this. You know what I'm saying? That You know, so y'all not going to come mess it up. But the respect there, though, yeah, like for the sure. folks that come to our stuff, they, sure. they really respect it. It's not and a problem. I, and, and, and I appreciate people that come to to just have genuine fun. Even, like, you don't have to be hostile at our events, bro. Mm-hmm. Just come, show your ass, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, get a few drinks, buy a few drinks, buy somebody else a few drinks, right. and just have genuine fun. I yeah, think yeah. that's what and, – and the thing is, is I, I definitely got to say this, we only been doing this for three months. Yeah. We only been doing yeah. this for three months now. Yeah. So – 
in three months we done build up the respect we done build up a standard for see more events which i which i really appreciate all of us for doing but we only been doing it for three months now so we got a lot more to come for sure yeah so in five years like you said the big goal this is gonna be an empire like i said the, the smallest of the a small percentage of this is gonna be events like we're gonna be doing the stuff we got put on the back end man it take money and time but it's, it's worth be, it. It's, it's yeah. gonna be new big, shit man. on the way. Yeah, new shit on the way. <laughs> Who else on the way? I love it. So I have to just ask my signature question. I ask this for everyone that I interview. Mm -hmm. If you could choose three words to describe who Seymour is, what three words would you use? This this is the question that always three, gets so everybody. Yep, yeah, y'all can do three each. I was about to say can't be fucked with, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I would say. Respectful for one. Um, go go around and say one. I'm gonna right. say yeah, y'all can y'all can y'all can say one. one. Yeah. Oh, what? Nah, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, say three. Your three. Oh, genuine, fun, safe. Love it. I was gonna say respectful. I would say humble, and I say accountable. Mm. For sure. Yeah. Um. I was about to say, y'all saying that, y'all saying that one first. But no, most definitely, I'm going to say respectful. I can say that um, we're resourceful as well, too. Like I said, mm. we help out. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That one. Um, yeah. Resourceful. And it's going to be simple. It's going to be fun. Like, yeah. You know, always have a great time with us. Like, always. Like, we have people coming from Atlanta, South Carolina. Charlotte. They drive. We got people coming yeah. from yeah. 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 our events, and we yeah. really yeah. appreciate it from everybody. Yeah, I like, I, I definitely like respectful, um, safe. And I would say trustworthy for real. Like you mm -hmm. can trust us when you there. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like you ain't gotta worry about because like I said, bro, women going through a lot these days yeah. when it just come down yeah, to just what? being safe. They like, don't even wanna pump their gas outside. no more. They don't even wanna do shit no more. Oh yeah, I'll be having you know what I'm saying? Like strength. you gotta have a strength. <laughs> like for what? women for for like in this day and age, for women to mm -hmm. have to have straps now is yeah. crazy. That's wild. It's mandatory. It's, crazy. it's mandatory. Wow. Young niggas, leave them alone. <laughs> leave them young them niggas. Young niggas. <laughs> if it's any message I can give right now, leave them, them young yes. niggas alone. Because they ain't fucking around. They not fucking around, bro. They're yeah. ready to crash. So, out. yeah, definitely trustworthy. Like, you can trust at, at us at our events because at the end of the day, we carry ourselves as men. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to make sure you're straight. We're going to make sure you get home. Even if it costs us out of pocket to get you home, we'll do that. Yeah. We'll send you an Uber on friend. A, a lady get too drunk, her friends. Oh, we'll pay for Uber. Yeah. Get up, get her home. Come on. Uber. And I've seen that. I've seen it like even hosting events after a girl be drunk and you just see a guy just like don't do that. Mm -hmm. Like so Doing too much. The, yeah, that's yeah. So I love it. I love it. So I guess I, what what are the upcoming events that y'all doing? And then let them know where we can find each of y'all on social media. Okay, so uh, social media mine is building dot a legacy. Um, see more. Well, it's see more ent for the actual business page. Um, well, we got events coming up. Ones that's locked in right now. Uh, we doing we doing appreciation. For sure. All yeah, right, yeah, we doing we doing the yeah. see more appreciation uh, week day in about two weeks. Mm -hmm. about two weeks. Then we have the. Uh, August the 11th is one of our big events, and it's for, like we said, the back-to-school joint mm -hmm. to where it's uh, Sneakers and Heels, Rooftop, Skyline Terrence. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, make sure you're there. Uh, if, you, if you're looking to sponsor, definitely uh, reach yes. out to one of us. Mm -hmm. yes. um, yeah, sure. It's from 7 to 11. It is a Friday. Mm -hmm. Real real night out, you know what I'm saying? Ladies, wear your heels. Guys, put it, put that shit on. You know right. what I'm saying. Make sure that you super straight. Cause you gonna uh, have that shit on. And then, yeah, that shit yeah, on. yeah, for sure. Yeah, if you ain't gonna be fresh as fuck, don't, don't come. come. <laughs> don't if don't you ain't gonna be fresh. Well, this ain't no, 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 no sweatpants chilling. Right. Nah, you gotta step. No. Cause you gotta yeah. feel like you the freshest motherfucker. Yeah. In there. When you, right. I, I need you to feel like you the freshest nigga in there. And, and if you ain't got you. Nothing, if you ain't got the funds, and you ain't got. Why? One, if you ain't got the funds, and two, you know you want to be there, you might have to get on Klarna for this one. Yeah. <laughs> you might oh, have to get on Apple Pay for this yeah, one. Yeah, go ahead, Apple Pay. Yeah. Go ahead and get right, because this one, this one definitely going to be one, but we got that coming up. Uh, me, Jared, the whole team, we working on a media day. Yeah. That's yeah. going to be one yeah. of the biggest things that mm -hmm. come to Charlotte. So a media day, um, and then after that, 
we got the last day of summer pending. We're not gonna talk about it right mm-hmm. now. But we got it. We got something coming for the last day of summer, and then after that, you know, it's game time. It's homecoming. Yeah. Oh, and I'm going. fucking them up. Yeah. Okay, okay. Be tapped in. I'm be tapped in. Yeah. Hey, so let them know where we can find you on all social media platforms and everything. Oh, so you can find me on every everything: Instagram, Twitter, Big Homie Scoop. Also, you can follow our business page on Instagram: C More N E N T. Um, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I feel like I'm the flyest nigga, so just follow me everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, my IG, social, all my social media stuff really is uh, OG Dings. Mm-hmm. Um, and like he said, the, the business account is Seymour ENT. So we got, I'm ready for the sneak ball. I ain't gonna lie to you. I've been thinking about what I'm wearing now. <laughs> oh my God. Um, I only got uh, Twitter and um, Instagram. So you can find me at B Contrail um, on Instagram. Yeah, you can find me there. Hey, well, listen, that that was a dope interview. Thank you so much, Seymour, for popping in. And make sure. sure you follow these dope individuals, tapping with their event, their community service, tapping with In The Loop. And it's your girl, Classic Coco, with Let's Be Real, the podcast. And guess what? We out.